Hi everybody, it's a quick video to show you how you can take a report, export it to Microsoft Excel, and then do things like counting the number of patients by insurance company. I know that comes up a lot. So let's look at patients by insurance company. That report, export it to Excel, Microsoft Excel, and then using just some quick, simple tools to be able to make a count of that. So I'm going to click on my printer, brings up my list of reports. I'm going to hit P on my keyboard in order to get down to patients. And I'm going to look for my patients by insurance company. All right. Here's my patients by insurance company. If I wanted to look at a particular insurance company, I could pick it here, but I want to look at all of my insurance companies because I want to be able to sort this list by insurance company inside Excel and be able to do some counts there. So I'm going to preview that report. All right. Here's my report. There's Aetna, there's Blue Shield, et cetera, et cetera. So all of them. And remember, this is just a test environment. So it's not a real insurance, not a real database. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to save my data as, and I'm going to save it on the desktop to make it really easy to find when I'm looking for it. And I'm going to change my save type from text to Microsoft Excel. All right, you can see I already have the file there because I was playing with it earlier just to make sure that I could do it. Uh, but that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it PBI, Patients by Insurance Company. It gives it that XLS uh, type and I'm going to save it to the desktop. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. All right, then I'll just close out, minimize Eaglesoft, and there it is sitting on my desktop. So I'm going to open that up in Excel. If you haven't used Excel before, uh, this is a good quick lesson to be able to use Excel. I'm going to use really the most simple tool, which is this filter tool. So up here under editing, I'm going to hit filter and I'm just going to filter this report. And you can see all of these are the different uh, headers or the different categories for this report. And what I'm going to filter it down to, I'm going to scroll over is just the insurance companies. All right. And it's under coverage. So I want to filter my insurance companies. And all I have to do is click that and allow me to filter. And what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of all of them. And I just want to see how many people have Aetna. All right. And remember, yours might have different Aetnas here, uh, but it's a quick, easy way to be able to filter this list down. If there were, say, multiple Aetnas, I could choose multiple. So let's say, uh, let's do, if it was Deltas. So imagine there were three different Deltas and you wanted to filter down to see how many patients you have with Delta Dental. So let's, let's just use Delta Pennsylvania, Delta PA. Now I'm just filtered down to just people who have Delta PA. You can see this coverage category. And if I scroll back over, here's all the patient names. But if you look down here in the corner, it actually tells you how many people you've filtered out. So of the 78 records I had, there's 32 people who have Delta Dental. Now, I could filter it out even more. I could say uh, by employer. I could say, because these are the employer numbers, not the names, but the employer numbers within Eaglesoft. So I can quickly look at this and see how many people have Delta Dental of Pennsylvania. Remember, that was the one that I chose, Delta Dental of Pennsylvania. All right. And I can actually go across and see some other things. How many ortho patients do I have that have Delta Dental of Pennsylvania? And you can see, I'm going to filter it down to how many ortho patients do I have that has Delta Dental of Pennsylvania? Well, there's one. All right. So you can use the reporting in Eaglesoft in conjunction with the uh, sorting and filtering capabilities of Excel to be able to take your reports to a new level. All right. Hope that helps.